We all love the sound of money, and a $1,500 sign-on bonus sounds even better. That's right, Belicio Foods of Jackson is offering a $1,500 sign-on bonus to new employees. Receive an extra $100 your first six weeks, then $400 after day 90, and $500 after day 180. Don't wait. Apply online at BelicioFoods.com slash careers today. That's BelicioFoods.com slash careers. Come work for a company who truly values their employees. Come work for Belicio Foods. Well, happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Morning Show right here on a Monday, a sunny Monday that uh, we are so excited to be here. And our good friend uh, Renee is Hello. here. Hi! Hi! From Belicio. And we're going to talk about some fun things that you all have coming up, maybe a little bit about the company in general, and um, some maybe some recruiting events that you have. Um, yes. So that's super duper exciting. Um, but first off, um, Tell everyone a little bit about yourself so they get to know you. Okay, so my name is Renee Conley. I have just took this position at Belicio's six weeks ago. Okay. I, <laughs> She's a newbie. <laughs> yes. I'm the new HR recruiting supervisor. Okay. So I, I live here in Oak Hill. So okay. here in Jackson County. So I'm excited for this for this new opportunity and this new role. Um Basically, just trying to get out there and educate the community about what Belicio has to offer, trying to attract talent here locally um, to come and work for such a great business that we have there at Belicio. Yeah, yes. and, um, you know, we have so much local talent here, and a lot of folks, you and I were talking off the air, um, you know, drive to Columbus or drive to Chillicothe or Circleville or or uh, even to Huntington or places like that. Um, and with gas prices at $5, boy, it doesn't take long for that to add up and not be worth it. So um, there are definitely some positions available and some opportunities here right here in town that people might not know about. So we'll, we're going to talk about that today. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, you know, if people are driving to, to Columbus or to Chilcothe and paying that, you know, much in gas, we're really, you know, asking, you know, look at, you know, our local you know, or your local community here, if you can, you know, drive five minutes or less than five minutes, you know, to, to have such a great career right here at Belicio Foods. And you know, that's what we're, you know, asking people just to really, you know, think about if you're driving, you know, two or three hours away or even 45 minutes away. Absolutely. You know, really look at what's here locally. You know, and what's your time worth? Yeah. And, and, you know, mm -hmm. Uh, it, there's just a lot of, of considerations there that, yeah. that uh, maybe people... So hopefully we can uh, make you all think today a little bit. Yes, yes. So let's talk for a minute about uh, Belicio as a company. Okay. And, you know, Belicio has gone through a few different names. For example, mm -hmm. I can remember, you know, Gino Pellucci starting... I think he started the company... Uh, way back when and mm -hmm. um, was quite a figure in town. Have to credit him for our uh, runway at the James A. Rhodes Memorial International Airport uh, being so long because he used to fly his, his jet in. Wow, yeah. And they expanded the runway, I think, for that. But um, And some yeah. other things, too. But yeah. So that was really cool. Um, but let's talk for a minute about how the company got started. What do you, what do you know about it? So I, I do know that it got started by, like you said, um, from him back, uh -huh. I think, back in like 1912. Um, so, and I do know that Belicio is a fast growing global company. You know, um, we are a global company. So we have other companies in Minnesota and in California, I do believe. Okay. Um, you know, we have a long history of providing quality, innovative food um, here locally, you know, to, to our consumers. You know, we give back to, to the lot. community so very much. Yes, we do have a um, state-of-the-art factory. We have um, a fully automatic distribution center that's fully robotic. So that's really awesome. You know, we were um, just had the privilege of 
you know, when, when you own a, a restaurant and brewery in town, you know, people spending the night tend to gravitate there because it's just a fun <laughs> gathering spot, you know? And yeah. so we had the pleasure of getting to meet some of the folks involved in, um, building, designing the, the giant freezer and wow. distribution thing. And it is fully automated and very whatever, nice. but I mean, the things that went into that and, and the people involved in that, it blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. Yes. Yeah. It's amazing. Just walking through it. And, and, you know, when I first got the tour of it and saw it, I was just blown away. <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. And this is right here in the heart of Jackson. Ohio. It's on Broadway street. <laughs> yes. So people don't realize like this factory. I mean, it, it is more than a factory. It, I mean, we, it's our family and we want everybody that works there to feel like family. And we want, you know, everybody here locally that, you know, needs a new job or is looking for a career change to, to think of Blisio, you know, and, and come and be part of our family because we offer so much to our employees. We have a new health center straight across um, the street there. Okay. Yeah. And I was going to ask you about that. Now, now explain what is that for and, you know, what do you, what do you utilize that? So for? that is for all of our employees. It's free, okay. to, free to charge, free of charge for them. They can go over. They can get their blood work done. Um, if they have, you know, need medications or need a prescription, as long as they have it there, they can go over and get that. So if wait, it's like their own little healthcare yes, center. Absolutely. Are you yes. kidding? And they can do it while they're on the clock. So that is that's a huge plus. And so yeah, it's a, it's a great. It's a great little clinic, and, you know, we have a great nurse practitioner there and a nurse, and um, they offer top-of-the-art skills, you know, or customer, wow. you know, a service there, and it, it's just, it's great. It's a great little clinic that we offer our employees, so that's a huge plus because it's free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you get free health care, that's pretty good. <laughs> yes, absolutely, and one of the other things that we do for our employees, we're always doing frequent drawings. We just done last week... Um, a drawings for Kings Island tickets. So somebody won free tickets to Kings Island. And then we also done the um, Blackstone Griddle. So somebody won a Blackstone Griddle. So we're always doing nice. frequent drawings for employees. So, you know, that's a big thing too. Um, some of the other stuff that we do is, you know, we have the medical vision, dental, 401k, you know, they have, they can get personal days, they get vacation after six months, um, there's, they get free lunches. We have something that we're, um, Im implementing here that we're really excited about. And it was a grant that we were awarded, um, by the Ohio Re Valley Regional District Commission. And it's, um, a success coach. So we're so excited for that. That's for the employees. They can go and talk to, you know, this individual and he can help them with like their, checking if they need help with their checking or if they need help um, you, with anything like, you know, setting up direct deposit or if they need help with okay. something that, you know, like just kind of normal anything. life yeah, skill things that life, might be anything. too yes, yeah. like overwhelming. Yeah. Because all of us have our own talents and then some, some things we're lacking in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So if they just want to, you know, if they're having a bad day and just want to talk to him, I mean, he's going to be there for that. So okay. we're really excited for that. That's amazing. Yes. So we're always trying to find ways to, you know, improve our company and our benefits for, you know, our employees and, and always trying to to, you know, think about what they want. And, you know, we do um, surveys to, you know, see what, you know, they want. And we're always trying to move forward. So that that's one of the things that I think is um, so great about Belizeo. So um, about how many employees does Belizeo um, have on the daily basis? And then how many are you looking for? Well, we have roughly probably about, I think, a little over a thousand. Okay. Right now. That many. Um, yeah, we're we're looking for I mean, not a specific number, but we just want we need employees and we want to really attract local talent. Um and there's know, a ton of it out there. Yes, there's a ton. And like I said, a lot of people don't realize all the things that Felicio Foods has to offer. And that's what I really want to do is get out there and educate the community what we have to offer and and I'm doing this, you know, big um open interview session with John Family Services this okay. coming Friday. 
um, that starts at 10 o'clock. It's going to last all the way till 1 o'clock. So I'm inviting everybody that wants to come and, and learn more about, you know, the different openings that we have to come and talk with me. To come, you don't have to pre-register. Just come. We're going to have a couple gift cards and some free Free things. So everybody hey, she likes said free. free. Stuff. Yes, Just everybody saying. likes free stuff. <laughs> yes, I have a couple um, gift cards to do a drawing for everybody that comes. So. Yeah, I'm excited for that and I'm really trying to just get out there and um, I'm going to be doing more open interviews, you know, in Gallia and some different areas. Okay. So, so yeah. Very good. And um, so we'll revisit that in a second. Let's okay. talk for a minute about what Belicio does as a company. You know, what, okay. what, what do you manufacture? Food. <laughs> so this is the funny part. I've told this story here on the on the air before. I was down in Key West and have a have a friend that lives down there, and and so mm -hmm. we were we were all going out on a on a boat, and so we had stopped by the grocery store to pick up some you know subs and things like that to take out on the boat, and mm -hmm. so one of her friends that we had just met, we were walking down the aisle, and she said. And the end cap of the aisle, it was a frozen aisle, was just full of pizza rolls. <laughs> and we were laughing about that. And I was like, oh. She was like, oh, I love those things so much. And I was like, yes. well, they make those right in our area. Yes. And she was like, what? Yes. And at that point, it hit me like, oh, my gosh, we're, like, famous for, yes. you know, for foods that we create right here in our area that yes. we take for granted mm -hmm. that – um that we manufacture right yeah. here. It's pretty amazing. And like you said, <laughs> when I started, I had no idea that Belicio Foods made Atkins Mills. Like, right. Yeah. It's like, it's crazy. And we do Boston Market and we do, of course, Michelinas is our signature. And, right. Um, and that's everywhere. Like you see Michelinas eat in the box, which that is what started our company, the eat in the box, macaroni and cheese. And, <laughs> um, yeah. And so you see that everywhere, but we do that. You know, we do the, like I said, the Boston Market and then the Atkins and then um, we do the uh, pizza rolls, of course. Of course, pizza, pizza rolls, rolls is a big thing. Yes. Hey, there's some of it right there up on the screen. <laughs> oh, Thanks, yes. James. But yeah, and I mean, it's just wild to me that you that I don't think people understand. So like, no. what what y'all do right yeah. here in our area, right here in ja in Jackson County. And like yeah. I said before, like we we give back also, you know, to the community as far as we do. Um, pay it for uh, food, pay it for like uh, events where we feed, sure. like, feed uh, the community. Like they well, do you that. You guys did those big food drives um, during COVID and all that stuff yes, where, I, I mean, that, that yeah. was amazing. Yes. Yeah. So they're always looking at, you know, doing stuff for the community and especially, you know, helping the, you know, the community if there's a need, you know, for food or whatever it may be. You know, well, I can just tell you, and I've said this numerous times here on the program that there is just nothing better than a deep fried pizza roll. No, there is not. They are good. <laughs> yes, they are. So, <laughs> and they have them in Key West too, evidently. Yes, yeah. Better. They have a, our food everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> I, I've seen it's them. Wild. And yes, it's crazy. It is definitely crazy. Yeah, and it's just not. You, you get to thinking. Well, is it regional? Is it no? Mm -hmm. It's no. Yeah. Everywhere. And so Very I mean, cool. you could be a part of that. You know, a part of that success you know being able to make something right here locally in Jackson County so and you know you think about the things that you do um you know the frozen foods and the convenience for you know kids after school and and how many people depend on the food that's manufactured at Belicio oh yeah you know th those meals are something that a kid can come home from school put in the microwave and you know maybe mom and dad aren't home for 2 hours and you know, they're yeah. safe and, and they know that they're nutritious and they're good. Yes. And, um, I think that's amazing. Yes. Yeah, it is. And then our, um, the Michelinas, um, the macaroni and cheese, we are doing like the, the bigger version of it. So that is also going to be nice for people Ooh. and that's already out. So big old people, side dishes yes, of the it. macaroni and cheese and it's delicious. So yes. That's really nice. Do you nice. get to taste test stuff? I do. I have taste tested some things, and it's it's quite fun, yes. <laughs> Perk yes. of the job, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. All right. Well, let's talk for a minute about going back to your hiring event that you have coming up in this uh, here in Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, 
Can you give us, you know, all the specifics of that? Yeah. So that is going to be a job and family services here in Jackson. Which is on South Street. Yes. On South Street this Friday starting at 10 o'clock until 1 o'clock. So it's going to be that window from 10 to 1. You can come in. It's going to be downstairs in their resource center. Okay. So I'm going to have a sign there. There's going to be a couple of us there. And you just come down and and we'll be there to greet you and, and we'll take you in and We'll talk about what you're looking for, and we'll we'll see what we can do to help you know get get them with whatever they want. Okay, like as far as position, and we can look at that. Who who is the ideal candidate? Who would who would you you know like to invite to come in, or is it just any anybody? Anybody that is looking you know for a job that you know is reliable and um, somebody that's really you know. Um, looking to advance and looking for a long-term career. Sure. Um, and you, I mean, you can have any kind of skills. Like, like I said, we do have, um, um, we do pay for skills. Like, um, we have a maintenance and refrigeration program. Like we're, we can hire them in and, you know, we can, if they have skills, we pay for those. And we just, um, we're looking for any kind of talent okay. here locally. You know, and um, again, like I said earlier, we all have different talents. So, we but, do, but yes. within that company, um, I could see a need for any number of yes. different individuals. Uh, if you're a yeah. fix it person, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that'd be real good. <laughs> and forklift drivers a big thing. We have okay. Forklift, um, yeah, we have forklift openings. Um, we have. I don't think they openings. let us do that, James. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, yeah, we have cook openings. I mean, we have just a general, you know, food production, you know, openings. Okay. And it's first shift, second shift, and third shift. You know, we get third shift sanitation cleaning crew. So okay. there's, there's lots of different positions to choose from. And like I said, there's a lot of different um, skill sets that we can train. And also, um, once they become an employee, you know, we're always looking to advance, you know, I want, I would love to invite everybody that is looking for, you know, a career and, and advancing and, and really, um, something long-term that they can grow with our company. I would love to invite them. And we, we, you know, we do have a union after 90 days, they would be part of the union. So, Oh, okay. Yeah. And um, I think you mentioned this, but let me ask you again, are, what are some of the, you know, benefits that one might um, get? Do you carry insurance and things like yes. that? Yes. So we do have you know, medical insurance, um, dental, vision, 401k. Um, we have the health clinic, like I had said. That is um, amazing. It is very great. Um, we also have the um, a summer um scholarship program that we do for high school students. We also have an intern program um, that, you know, college students can come oh, and work there. Yes. That's great. And so we have um, the advancement opportunities, the, the health coach, the free lunches, you know, the the drawings. Um, we just have so much to offer our employees. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, I keep going back to the free health care thing. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, I saw the clinic being built over there, and I just wasn't for sure, you know, exactly what it was. And um, so I'm glad that you talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, it's an amazing little clinic to have our own clinic that, you know, that the employees can utilize for, for blood work. I mean, blood work itself is oh, costly. And I mean, very. And they can just go over there and, and do that, and they can do it while they're on the clock, you know, if that is – a need that they need to, you know, do. Um, if they're you know, not, not feeling well, they can go over there and, and you know, be seen and, and still come back to work. So that sure. makes it really nice. Um, and one of the things I would like to bring up um, are core values at Belicio. Yeah. Um, so we like for them, you know, to come as you are and speak up, um, do the right thing, and um, fast fish, eat slow fish. So those are our three core values um, here at Belicio that I wanted to to bring to the attention. Okay. So, yeah. And I mean, uh, that makes total sense. And, um, you're just looking for, for good people that, (laughs) that just want to do the right thing and do good. And man, what a cool thing to, I guess, go back to that, like to produce the food and things that like Mm -hmm. we eat on the daily basis. Yes. Right here. Yes. I know. Sorry. 
No, you're fine. Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that that's crazy that right here in Jackson, Ohio, you know, we produce all this, these entrees, you know, this yeah. food that is convenient for everybody that has families, <laughs> even if you don't have families, your college student or whatever, you, you know. Right. Yeah. And, and we you know, being able to be a part of that to me is so rewarding. And, and I just want everybody to, to really um, understand what Belicio is and, you know, what we have to offer. And it's not just the a little factory in the middle of Jackson County. It's a huge factory. It's a huge factory and, in Jackson and, County. And it's a lot more than what everyone thinks. So it, it's a yeah. wonderful thing. Drive by there if you have your satellite yes. radio on it. It goes out for about five minutes yes. <laughs> as you drive by because yes. the buildings are so big. Oh, yes. It always cracks me up. Um, so that's saying something. And then that new, uh, freezer and the, the warehouse, um, distribution oh, thing, yeah. just unbelievable. It is. It is amazing to be able to see that much robotic stuff. Like it is just, it's crazy. It's amazing. This, um, <laughs> freezer, uh, the guys were telling us when they were in that, um, it took like once they finally got it built and finished, it took mm-hmm. like a month. To get it to temperature because oh, it's so imagine. big. Yes. And I was like, you have got to be kidding. And they're like, no, it'll take it a month to get to temperature. And I was like. Yeah. It is humongous. Holy moly. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right. Well, Renee, is there anything else you would um, like our viewers to know? We definitely want you all to come out to the, the recruiting event or the. Yes. Um, is there. As far as the event goes, what would you like people to bring with them or like what do they need to do? Okay. So basically <clears throat> just come in. Um, I would like for everyone to have two forms of ID, just like your driver's license and social security card or social okay. security number. Um, but other than that, just you know, come in and, and bring that and, and talk to us. I mean, you don't have to pre-register anything. Okay. Um, just Good. come between those hours and, and, you know, we can look to see what we can offer you. And, and I'm just excited to, to be able to offer, you know, jobs here locally to people that really need it. Yeah. And I mean, that's the amazing thing. And as, as you know, we're moving past this stupid, stupid, pandemic thing and and you know the workforce has just gotten all messed up and we and we all know that um Mm -hmm. but I feel as if now you know jobs are becoming uh, more readily available and you know people are wanting to go back to work now and Mm -hmm. Um, all of that. So this is a perfect opportunity for you all yeah. out there. If you're looking for something yes. uh, here locally that has a ton of benefits. Yes. Ton of benefits. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, why not come work here locally, you know, for a family business that's, you know, local and you can save gas and just be five minutes from your home. Like how great would that be? So sounds good to yeah. me. So I would love to see everybody and, and come out and see us. And I'm going to try to be out in the community more and educating people about what Belicio Foods offer to everyone. Sure. So, well, very yeah. good. Well, Renee, we can't thank you enough for for stopping by and um, spending your morning with us well, because we you know you're for busy. having me. Yes. Well, you know you're welcome back here anytime, girlfriend. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm I'm excited. This, like I said, this is my. My first time on, so I was kind of thinking, okay, what am I doing here? But I'm just so excited to to be able to talk to everyone about Belicio. So yeah, for sure, and you do a fantastic job. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> James, do we have any questions or anything from our viewers? Uh, no, but we've got uh, the address in here. If anyone doesn't know where that building at, it's 22 East South Street. Perfect. That's right, Thank Job you. and Family yes. Services. It's also where the Board of Elections is now and some other things um, right there kind mm-hmm. of uh, close to the corner of South and that uh, that road that goes by the high school, which I can't yes. think of what it's called right now. Huron? Yeah, I was going to say No, like Huron goes this way. Vaughn? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Vaughn, maybe? That's the street the high school's on. Okay, Tropic and Vaughn, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one's Tropic and which one's Vaughn. (laughs) Vaughn's the one I live on. (laughs) Okay. Yes. Vaughn Street then. (laughs) Yes. And it's on our- Because I know where you live. (laughs) And it's on our um, Belicio Facebook page. Yes. The the event is on there with the address on there. And also um, 
if if you can't make it, that's fine. Go to bleasealfoods.com slash careers, and you can still apply on there, too. Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. All right. And um, very competitive pay. Obviously, very competitive benefits. Yes. Um, vacations. Yes. Like, all of that. Yeah. Vacation, personal days. Like it's a medical dental vision, the free health clinic. Now we have the the success coach coming um, and there's always new stuff coming. So you never know what's going to come. We still have the $1,500 sign on bonus. Oh, so that's something nice. Yes. That's really nice. So, you know, once you're there, like um, after you start, um, then you get paid as long as you come every week, then you will get paid. Um, I think it's like, uh, the first six weeks, is like a hundred dollars added to your check. And then, um, I think day 90 is like 400 and then day 180 is like 500. Okay. So, and that's just, um, the $1,500 bonus for, for just the general labor, labor positions. And, um, Second shift. Now we do have for the warehouse, like forklift operators and stuff. It's a three thousand dollars sign on bonus. So oh, hello. That, yeah. Hey, <laughs> do, do you want to go to forklift school, James? I mean, we can try. We we should. Go, they should send us to forklift school. Yes, and one Who's of the they? things I I forgot. Is to that mention. a thing? I don't know. I mean, you have to get a, like a certification, right? I don't know. What do you no, have we, to do to be we a... We actually certify our people. So oh, we train okay. them. Yeah, we train them. Well, so you don't have to have certification. God help you if you try to train us. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just run our mouths a lot. Uh, sorry, and, didn't mean no, to No, you're fine. One of the things I did want to mention before I forget, um, and we do pay weekly. And that's something that oh. a lot of people don't do that no, anymore. And so anymore. we pay, you know, weekly to our employees. So that's a, a huge plus because, yes. you know, getting that weekly paycheck is nice. So absolutely that's is. something, yeah, that's something I wanted to mention. Very good. See, there's so much good stuff there going is. on. Like right I said, there's so much and there's just, and it's always, there's always adding stuff. So so, Very yeah. good. How do you keep track of all of this? It's hard. Like I said, this is only like my six weekend, so I'm still <laughs> learning everything. But um, it, it's been a great experience, and I'm so excited for what I have. You know what to, there is to come. So I, I'm excited to grow with this company. So absolutely. Well, again, like I said, thank you so much for spending your morning with us. Well, thank we you. appreciate it. Yes. And come back anytime you like. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank yeah. you. Anytime you have another event, um, and and there will be some other events coming up. So yes. just. Check yeah. those uh, Belusio Facebook pages or, mm-hmm. or whatever, and I'm yeah. sure you'll have those all posted. Yes, absolutely. Yep. All right. Well, Miss Renee yep. Conley from, let's see, HR Recruiting Supervisor. Yes. Just making sure I did that right. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> well, very good. Thank you so much, and um, we will see you soon. Okay. Thank right. you. Very good. All right. Uh, let's head on over to the weather forecast while Miss Renee is... Uh, running out of here and well she doesn't really have to run out she can she can stay if she wants but uh um thank you for having me oh thank you have a great day um so the weather forecast looking uh really actually pretty darn good for the next few days um today kind of hot um with sunny partly cloudy to sunny skies highs around 89 lows of 70 for tomorrow on tuesday some clouds in the sky but Highs a little cooler, 88, uh, getting down to 63 overnight. Then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looking absolutely great. Mid-80s with low 60s for the low. And then as we get back into the weekend, there's not much rain in the forecast, though. Um, Highs popping back up into the high 80s, almost to 90 degrees. But tis the season, and it is... um, (laughs) <laughs> we're getting into county fair week. So <laughs> it's the only thing, uh, you know, that that's missing right now is, you know, you got 90 degree temperatures, but you need thunderstorms on top of that. Yeah, then it's uh, yeah. a real county fair week. <laughs> well, yeah, I, we had some thunderstorms this weekend. I've got the uh, fair schedule right here. Oh, well, mine's been updated. Has yours been updated? I don't know. I think it's the same one. Is it? Yeah. That would be sick and twisted if we had two different... uh... So, yeah. Well, there were a few kind of last-minute changes. Oh, okay. Um, So, your notice on there on next Tuesday, the 19th, the Senior King and Queen contest was canceled. Okay. Uh, And there was a couple other things added and removed. 
I assume but, some of that is due again to this COVID kind of, uh, if y'all don't know, there's kind of a COVID uptick right now. Um, sure is. I've, we've had some people, I mean, I, I, knew, I talked to two people yesterday that are home right now because they have mm-hmm. COVID and I was yeah. like, I didn't even know that was a thing anymore, <laughs> but evidently it is. So apparently, yeah. So we got to protect our seniors is the point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fair kicks off Thursday. With the horse racing. Already? Already. It's what? basically two weeks now. Yeah. That is wild. It's a lot of fair. There's a lot of fair going on. Yeah. For sure. So you're a horse person. How you like the harness racing? I do. I always yeah. enjoyed, the, you know, seeing, of course, you know, as a little girl, a horse is a horse is a horse. So if I got to see a horse, I was just mm-hmm. very excited oh, about that. Uh, hold on a second. But. What are you doing? Oh, he better not do something. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. Speaking speaking oh, of Jenna's James. little girl and the horse stuff. Thanks, James. <laughs> that's, that's the horse queen picture. There she is. There she is. 1990 horse queen. The 1990 horse queen. That was my horse. His name is Tex. Tex. Uh, speaking of text, actually, oh, no. was it text or was it something dumb? No, <laughs> nah, something dumber than that. I'm the devil. <laughs> no, nah, something dumber than that. Um, that's a movie. Yeah. Clip. I've, yeah. You showed me that clip, but I've still not seen the movie. You've got to see <laughs> oh, the okay, movie. I'll find anyway, it. Uh, once upon a time in Hollywood, if you've not seen it, watch it. It's fantastic. Quentin Tarantino, mm-hmm. sick and twisted dude. It's awesome. Um, Brad Pitt is hilarious in it um anyway but no that was my horse tex and his real name was texicut because he was actually um he was bred to race but he was too slow too slow was just wasn't good at it me too but yeah too. i know i feel you buddy but he was a big old boy and uh he was he was a good boy so um but yeah that was at the 1990 jackson county fair a few years ago. So I'm looking at this. I'm jumping ahead now, but yeah. I, this, this just jumped out at me. What? Saturday, this, <gasps> the 16th. It ju- the I first ju- annual mullet contest or mullet I pageant. just looked down and saw that. That is fantastic. The first annual mullet and 80s do pageant. Why have we never thought of that? I don't know. Dude, if Jeremiah Shaver is not there doing a live report from that, I'm going to be disappointed. I mean, it's a double header because that's right after the greased pig contest. Which is sponsored by Belicio Foods. Yeah, so what you do is you take the grease from the pig. Oh. And get your hair. Get your mall at all. Get your mall at all greased up. Yes. And go to the 80s do pageant. That is flipping hilarious. If I brushed my hair out, I could definitely have like the whole. You could do something with yeah, it. Yeah, I for could. For sure. You'd be looking pretty groovy, man. Yeah. I just need the to put first... some like turd rolls right here and like. What rolls? Turd rolls. We all used to have the turd roll right here. Okay. It was just a perfect roll. All right. As bangs. All right. I got gotcha. you. I'll show you my senior picture sometime. The first annual mullet contest yes let us know in the comments will you be entering the mullet contest do you have a mullet do you have a mullet did you have a mullet do you regret getting rid of your mullets are you disturbed that mullets are coming back into fashion (laughs) i have to say i had a mullet in the sixth grade okay yeah yeah it was bad real bad and glasses that were bigger than my face (laughs) Well, it was real bad. I have a picture on my phone, but we're not going to go there. All right. We won't go there. But no, I love that. That's a fun contest. I would love to see that. Okay. Here's a question for you. Trivia question. Okay. Sunday night. It is the OMTPA tractor, truck tractor pull. What does OMTPA stand for? Um... Ohio, I assume it's, 
Wait. O-M-T-P-A. Ohio. Is it Monster Truck Pulling Association? No, I, it's Ohio Modified Truck Slash Tractor Pulling Association. Well, I was close. So, yeah. This is the monster trucks. I don't think they have monster. They should know. have monster trucks. They should have monster trucks. They should have monster modified trucks. modified monster trucks. Um, so I was that's close. Be pretty exciting. No, that's always a fun one. Um, the truck and tractor pull. One of the cutest ones is the kitty tractor pull. Where the kids have to pedal. <laughs> they be a yeah, pedal car. <laughs> pedal real fast. Yeah, yeah they're super cute. Um, but those, no, those truck and tractor pulls, man, when they get, they get the hammer down and they're like going and then all of a sudden that thing like drops and it's like, like, it's really like <laughs> pulling. I'm like, holy moly. They have, a uh, some of them with like jet engines and all kind of crazy stuff. Speaking of stuff with jet engines. Oh my. I had a guy pass me on the highway on one of those little crotch rocket motorcycles the other day. Yeah. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> he had to be going like 150 miles an hour. That's a good way to it get dead quick. It was so loud. Yeah. Like it felt like a jet plane flying by you. That's not. Scared me to death. And we were going like 70. Oh and my. And he just, just gone. Not good. Dude. That guy was like asking for trouble. Yeah, you're not. And then he started like going in between cars. Yeah, on the I love when they, yeah, they go down the middle of the yeah. two cars and stuff. Uh-uh. Dude, that guy was no. He you lost death, your mind. He had a death, death wish. wish for sure. Yeah, like that good thing f- was so loud. That's scary stuff. Yeah. Well, I noticed that um, there is a circus. Yeah. That so the, sounds fun So the on Cincinnati Monday. Circus, from my understanding, I've not seen it, but the way I understand it is it's it's not a show. It's like a, like a traveling thing. Like they walk around. Oh, like they walk on the midway mm-hmm. and throughout sure. the grounds yeah. and juggle and do Jug- fun things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That sounds like fun. Like a roaming circus. That's roaming the word. Roaming circus. Yeah, they, we've got a picture of them here on the board. It'll pop up in a second. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that sounds fun. I know they've had them a few years now. Sounds pretty cool. I mean, everybody likes the circus. A horse show on Monday, next Monday, a week from today. Is that something you're into? Yeah. Um, So that is, it looks like the contest horse show, Mm -hmm. which is what I never competed in because that's like where you run around barrels and stuff like in the rodeo. Yeah. And I was just never that talented. There's the Cincinnati Circus. Monday, July 18th. Love that. Fun, fun. Does look fun. So, oh. Rides open on Monday, too. And that's too. also Kids Day. So Monday is yeah. Kids Day where kids get in free. Kids and veterans both get in free. That's right. And um, so that's the Monday, this coming Monday of the fair. But mm-hmm. um, A week from today. Yeah, a week from today. But um, remember that the rides, I know this is a, one of those things that confuses people. Kids get in free all day, which is cool. And there's a lot of activities going on and shows and things like that. But the rides do not open until 5. Okay. So... No don't reason. take the don't kid and bother at no- showing up till five. Yeah, like you're not going to ride the merry go round at noon. I guess okay. is my point. So gotcha. if you're if you're wanting to take the kids to ride, make sure you go a little bit later in the afternoon, mm-hmm. okay. um, or go knowing that that they won't be open till five. But that's really really cool. Um, Magic Man T J Hills Comedy and Magic Show. Ooh, that's must be new. Well, that's, that's next Thursday. Fun next Tuesday. That does sound fun. Yeah. It sounds like that guy's going to give Mark Wood a run for his money. Magic Man T.J. Hill. I wonder what he does. I think he does magic and comedy. <laughs> Boy, you're just with it this morning, James. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, so, hey, on this Friday, which would be the... Um, these dates are wrong on the... Oh, no, they're not. This Friday, the 15th, on the show, we're going to be giving away our prize pack yes. that we've got there that we've been talking about on Facebook. The So the Jackson County Fair Queens are going to be here on Friday, and we're going to give away this prize pack, which includes a whole bunch of stuff. It does. It's really cool. It's a night at, the, at any Red Roof Inn, which mm-hmm. is, depending on which Red Roof Inn you stay at, I mean, it could dollars. be hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Um, also... 
Uh, Stockroom 601, $10 gift card, and a round of golf, golf at, at Franklin Valley. Franklin Valley, and yes. So all of that. So how do they win, James? So go to the Total Media Facebook page, find the post with the photo, the photo of this stuff. You'll see this is pretty recognizable. You'll see this thing. So find that photo, leave us a comment, give us a like and a share and all that kind of good stuff. And on Friday, we're going to let the Jackson County Fair Queens pick a winner at random on the show. They're going to randomly yep. pick. Mm-hmm. That's Out awesome. Of all the people on that post. Very cool. It, yeah, it is cool. And this is a really nice prize because like you said, that Red Roof Inn thing alone, that could be oh, $200. Yeah. I mean, depending if you're you know in a resort location or you're somewhere like that. Down, downtown and yeah, downtown Columbus, Columbus, somewhere, Cincinnati. Yeah. Um, There's a Red Roof Inn right next to the convention center in Columbus. So yes, if you're going and to it's an event, very nice. Yeah, it is a really nice hotel. So yeah. if, you're, if you're going to an event down, downtown, that's a perfect place to stay. It is. They have uh, very easy access to parking mm -hmm. and all that, Yeah, they too. have their own lot there. They have their own parking lot. Yeah. It's very, and it's... Um, you do so so have to pay for parking, but they have their own You do, own but lots. it's like, but they have their own lot, yeah. so it's easy. You're not right. dealing with, you know, downtown yeah. parking. Downtown, yeah. It can like be a normal. Nightmare. Yeah. Can but no. be a nightmare. And all of the, you know, all the livestock shows um, that go on through the week, uh, just a lot of fun. Um, and of course, to me, one of the fun things is the turkey show. Because they are hysterical. Because little kids hit them with big sticks. Yes, something like that. Um, no, <laughs> that, they don't isn't that hit the them. One when they use the cane. Yeah, they well they yeah. guide them. They don't whack them with it. That would probably uh, bruised turkey does not do well at the at the you know grocery know. store. I'm not. I'm not a fair guy. I don't know. I don't know what you do with a turkey. You eat have it. it for Thanksgiving. <laughs> you eat it for Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, so there's turkey. There's, of course, uh, Wednesday all day is um, uh, the beef breeding and then and the dairy and then um, the market steers and, and all then, of that stuff. And then Thursday, Wednesday night. Oh, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Micro wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> You guys haven't seen the little promo video. Do we have that? Can we play it? Uh, it's on my phone. I'd have to dig it up. We'll play okay. it. We'll play it later in the week. It's but so it's hilarious. Fun. It's got the micro wrestlers and they're like, welcome to the Jackson County Fair. Get your tickets. <laughs> <laughs> they're so fun. It's pretty funny. Yeah, it is. It's hysterical. So, uh, so micro wrestling on Wednesday. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, oh, don't forget the rodeo is on Tuesday night. Oh, man. We're, we're missing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Wednesday is Tuesday, or Tuesday is rodeo night with the Diamond J Rodeo. Um, and that's brought to you by our friends at Benton County oh. National Bank and G&J Pepsi. It's at the very top of the page. Yeah, so I it's see like it. That's why I was confused. Weird. Yeah. Uh, micro wrestling on Wednesday. Thursday is our good friend jess kelly adams yes excited very excited to have her back heck yeah on the Belicio foods grandstand and she will be on the show that morning too she's coming in she's coming in again we love when Super she excited. stops by so yeah she's so much fun and then at uh, 9 p.m that night um calista clark will mm -hmm. take the uh main stage there so that is a really good day full of music yeah, that's awesome. Both of those two, same night. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, and then you have a lot of different, um, you know, Thursday's kind of the chicken show and then the uh, swine show, which so if you don't what, know, that's the piggies. So what is the horse fun show? So, the f oh, horse fun show is, um, so it's kind of like to blow off steam after you've worked like so hard all week, but okay. like. So things we did in the fun show, I don't know what they do today because we mm -hmm. were absolutely insane. Okay. Um, you do things like egg and spoon. So like Oh, you try to So you're riding your horse egg. and you have to hold an egg in a uh -huh. on a on a flat wooden spoon. Okay. And like balance it. Mm -hmm. And then they make you do all kind of things on your horse, like yeah. walk trot, canter, back up, whatever. So whoever can keep the spoon on the 
thing wins, which is really not fair because, you know, if you have a bouncy horse, there's just not really. Yeah. But anyway, but no, we would do, oh my God, we would do the catalog race. We would do bobbing for apples. What's the catalog race? So catalog race is, and this was one thing that, that Jen about killed herself doing. <laughs> I had this horse. This is funny. I had this horse called Cass. Okay. I bought her from Bob Evans, actually. For, um, they used to, to uh, raise reining horses. Well, I turned her into an English horse, which like jumping and stuff like that, because mm-hmm. she, she was cool. That this horse was fearless. She she was bred to be a cow horse, so like, uh, like a working ranch horse kind okay. of thing. Um, so she would do anything, and um, so but she, you she would jump over anything. She would do like anything. She was just like fun. So. Um, they had this thing called the catalog race. So basically you start at one end of the arena and you are on your horse and you run down as fast as you can on your horse. You jump off your horse. You, and in the meantime, as you're running, the announcer calls like page 42. So there's like a big, like Sears catalog or something there. Yeah, I bet they don't do that one anymore. Probably not. Finding a catalog would be hard. Yeah, where are you going to find so Sears catalog? you had to like open it up, find that page, rip it out, jump back on your horse and run back, and whoever does that the fastest wins. <laughs> so my problem was now imagine this like you know whatever gallon drum those you know barrels right yeah standing up on its end. So I go flying down through there with Cass, and she's just running as hard as she can run. And instead of stopping at the barrel, she jumps over top of it. <laughs> <laughs> I survived. It was fine. So that was very eventful. But uh, so things like that. We did um, uh, bobbing for apples. Same thing. You have to run down, get an apple. You get an apple or the horse gets an apple? You get an apple. But then the horse, I always gave my apple to the horse afterwards. Uh, So you jump off your horse, bob for an apple, jump back on your horse, hold the apple in your mouth and run back. Things like that. All right. Uh, Costume contests, just different things like that. For you or the horse? Oh, like you all, dress all. up together. Okay. Did you I, go as a Lone Ranger? No, I did. Um, one year I went as a surfer and my mom. Uh, Your horse was a board? Do you, no, <laughs> I had a surfboard. Okay. Do you remember when jams were cool? Do you remember jams? They were like, like the Hawaiian. Suit. Yeah. Yeah. They were like the Hawaiian shorts that everybody wore and they were like yeah. knee length Hawaiian <laughs> shorts. So we, my horse and I had matching jams. So we <laughs> literally put shorts on my horse and my mom made them for me and he had those big sunglasses uh-huh. and he wore them because he was so funny he was so sweet his name was sweetie and he <laughs> wore the sunglasses and so i had um uh and he had like a lay and i have a picture of this somewhere and i carried a surfboard and mm-hmm. that was our costume it was really cute that was when i was like nine okay <laughs> That was before the horse queen days. Before um, the horse queen days. Before, so yeah, but there's all kind before, of fun before things. Before those days. Yeah, I mean? before those days. Okay. Yeah, thanks, James. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> that was baby Jim. Hey, You're just, such a pal. Just for the record, the only reason I shared that photo is because Courtney did it first. Oh, Courtney did I it first. I had forgotten about oh. it. I posted it last year on your birthday. <laughs> And I had forgotten about it. But then Courtney shared it online Friday or Saturday. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should probably I should probably post that again, too. Thanks. Then, you guys are such pals. Yeah, and well, I was like running around all day Saturday, so I wasn't really paying much attention to my phone. But I didn't see. I got a message from you. It was like, thanks, pal. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like you're it. such a pal. <laughs> like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> But no, thank you to all the nice people that that sent a uh, very uh, good birthday wishes because there were some yeah. nice comments there. Look at that. Yep. Thanks. Hi, Tex. So regal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Too bad um, you don't have the crown on in that picture. I know. So today <laughs> or, or Friday, going on to Friday. Next Friday. Yeah, next Friday, July twenty second. Magic Man T.J. Hills back. He is with. I think he's going to do comedy and magic. I think so too. <laughs> um, and then um, the Fast Tracks Motocross is Friday night, so that's awesome. That's always a big one. Mm-hmm. And then 
So uh, the, the livestock sh- sale starts at three. Is that earlier than normal? Yes. And the sale order this year, they rotate it every year. Chickens, turkeys, rabbits, beef feeders, lambs, goats, dairy market uh, feeders, dairy steers, steers, and hogs. They rotate those every year just so it's fair for everybody. Okay. Yep. And then motocross is that night, too. Fast now, track if, motocross. Yeah, if Rodney was in here, he would correct me that it is not motocross, it is motocross. 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 We need to ask him why that is. So, well, hey, look! So, oh! <laughs> uh, I think moto is the type of trail or track. Okay. Or, yeah, I don't know. He explained this the other day. If you know in the comments, let me know. But I think motocross is like, I don't know. It's Maybe it's like a best out of three thing or something. I don't, I don't remember. Gotcha. We'll, we'll have him come explain it. <laughs> explain it yeah, we'll have him come now. explain it because he but yeah, is the motocross But it's different guy. than supercross. Okay. Which you would. Is that super or super? I th- yeah, that's, the same, <laughs> that's the same joke Matt McKee made when Matt was Rodney was talking about this like last week. God, we're also predictable. I know. We got, we got lots of good material here. <laughs> What's Jackson County Smash It? Is that the oh, that's the company that puts on the demolition derby, I bet. Yes, I think so. So And that's Saturday night, and of so course speaking, that's always like Yeah. So speaking of the demolition derby. Yes. This is something that's long been in the works and it's not probably not going to happen this year, but every every day we're getting closer to time to do this. So the on the go radio rendezvous, the old the old car that they drive around. You mean take, the one that they call the turd? The now? turd. Yes. It, so it, it was um, born a few years ago. Yeah. So the vehicle is <laughs> about twenty years old now, and so it broke down in MacArthur over Fourth of July weekend, and they got it started back up, and it and then it died again and. Jack's at a manpower park the next night. Yeah. And they got it started back up again. And so if we ever, if, <laughs> if, if that thing ever gets replaced, there is a, uh, a fervor that we should Dude. enter it in the demolition derby and stick Rodney in there and do a live broadcast. Yes. <laughs> from inside the demolition derby. Yes. We have to. So like he's in the back seat, just getting, <laughs> Rocked around, <laughs> given play by play while he's just getting pulverized, because <laughs> you know that things that's going to be the first one to die. It won't <laughs> right? even start. Right. It won't yeah, get you, out of the starting. Yeah, gate. you get to the starting gate and you go to start your engines and nothing happens. Did that happen to me on bumper cars when I was a little kid? And it oh, was like such, horrible. It was such a traumatic experience. That would be horrible. That thing, that thing just died right in the middle. No, and, and just, everyone just, and, just ever, and I can't move. <laughs> Here's little it James. Was terrible. Like, everybody's just beating up on the yeah. kid. It was like the one time my mom let me do something like that too. <laughs> it might have been like it. It might have even been like a uh, school trip for like getting <laughs> you know good grades or passing the test or something like that. I can't remember. It was a long time ago, but I remember that thing getting stuck. <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah, that a oh, traumatic that's memory. <laughs> it is. That is. Uh, it's. It's kind of funny now. But yeah, it probably funny. wasn't then. It probably was no. horrible. Yeah. No. And then next Sunday, everything closes. Yep. Closing time. You don't have to go home. But you can't stay here. Get out. 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 Yep. Must be completely dismantled and removed. Yep. That's what they tell us at 10 o'clock every day. <laughs> Get, out. <laughs> Get out. You must be completely dismantled and removed. Oh, shoot. Um, we failed to mention, uh, this is a big one, too. Yeah, we skipped 90% of we the We talked events. about... Well, number one, you can get the fair schedule online so because there's so much um, we could never go over it all. But um, there is a baby co- contest this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. as well, and that's always a big one. Christmas in so. July themed baby contest. That'd be fun. Yeah, you gonna dress that baby up like an elf? Like elf. Yep. Dress it up like the one that wants to be a dentist. What was his name, Hermie? That sounds right. 
something like that. Yeah. Whenever I think of that, I think of a uh, little By the shop. way, James Conn passed away over the weekend. That was oh. really sad. Yeah. He's the dad and elf. Las Vegas. Right. Godfather. All of that. I saw... Didn't there's a really That's okay. <laughs> Speaking of elf, there's a really cool um, series on uh, Netflix called The Movies That Made Us. Yeah. Missing that. Uh-uh. So it's little do- little mini documentaries about like the making of movies and yeah. stuff like that. And there's one on Elf. Okay. And they talk about how they did all the forced perspective stuff. Yeah. The, especially at the beginning of Elf. <laughs> so like they they wanted Elf to look like the old like stop motion, the Rudolph and stuff like that. Yes. And they did all these really clever things to like achieve that. And like the scene where Will Ferrell was sitting on his lap, <laughs> like, I mean, that's all a practical effect. That's not like a computer generated thing. Right. So it's like, just the perspective. Yeah. In which so they like, shot Will, it. yeah. Like, so Will Ferrell was like sitting on somebody else's lap, like up close to the camera and he's like laying back. So you only see his knees. <laughs> and then the other actor is like sitting in like a higher chair, like way back. Yeah. Like a several feet behind him. And then, you know, the way you set the camera up, that's it crazy. makes it, yeah, it makes it look like they're sitting right next to each other. Mm-hmm. And that's how they did. That's how they made the desk look big. Like when he's sitting at a desk and he's real tight and everybody else is fitting normal. Yeah. Like he's in like a normal sized desk, like sitting real close to the camera and everybody else is like, ah, uh, like bigger desks further. or whatever back further. That's so funny yeah, how so somebody clever. could do that. Yeah. Cute movie if you it you have to see it, and you have to watch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, That's James. That's an interesting back to back. Yeah. Hey, we're almost out of time, but kind speaking of, of movies, yeah, I saw Thor: Love and Thunder this weekend. How was Thor? It's pretty good. Was it good? It's pretty awesome. It's That's very a, funny. Is that a sequel or is it that... is the fourth Thor oh. movie? Okay, and like the twenty something. Th- Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. 20 something. Yeah, I I lost track. But yeah, it's really funny. It's it's really it 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 really I mean it's got some creepy stuff in it too. Christian Bale plays the bad guy and he's super creepy. Oh. But um it's a it's a pretty funny movie. Nice. Yeah. It's pretty good. I recommend it. I don't want to talk about it too much. Don't want to be spoiler. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it for you all. But it's a lot of fun. I still haven't seen Elvis though. Elvis is uh, in Jackson right now. Okay. So this is a good week to maybe go see it. Absolutely. You think they'll let us like bunk off work and go to a matinee? I don't know. I mean. We should have our people call their people. Yeah, we'll we'll say that it's. (laughs) We'll find a way to make it sound like it's for work. (laughs) It's research and development. (laughs) Yeah, it's R&D. Or yeah, I mean it's it's a good way to put mm-hmm. things if you want to do no, it. No, but I would like I do want to see that movie, and I did really enjoy Thor. So good, it's a lot of fun. Very good, very fun. So Stranger Things oh. watched the first of the two. Okay. Uh, last episodes, mm-hmm. but I was thinking this was going to be the last season. No, but then another season. Then there's going to yeah. be another they season. Said, so I watched the first one be, last night. Yeah, they're saying it's going to be 2024 before they get the next season finished, though. Okay. Which I thought, it, I I was under the impression that it was going to be sooner than that. But yeah. I guess not. It's just really hard when there's like that gap or lull in between mm-hmm. those sure. series. Cause it's yeah, like, it was, I definitely, it had been so long since the previous season of Stranger Things, it was kind of hard for me to remember. It is. Everything that led up to where we started in this season. But man. And then this season was so long and then they took a month gap in between episodes. And then now we've like released two more or whatever. Yeah. So I'll be honest with you. I struggled with this season. I told you every time I tried to watch it, I'd fall asleep. Mm -hmm. But then like as the ending, as the end um, episodes as I got to those, it got real good. Yeah. No, it's 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 a great so. season. It's wonderful. It is a really great season. I mean, the first season of Stranger Things is one of my favorite like seasons of TV like ever. Mm-hmm. And I don't know it's that. It's just so unique. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It just kind of nailed everything that it was going for. Yeah. But this season's really great too. This season's definitely leaning more into like 80s horror movie tropes, which aren't really my thing, but yeah. still pretty good. 
it's cool how they're starting to intertwine, um, you know, the music and all that stuff as well into mm -hmm. it. And I think they're, I don't know if that was intentional, but I think that's what they're becoming known for. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things anyway. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Well, Kate Bush is definitely grateful. Uh, for her. I would say Kate Bush has never been happier in her entire life. No. So anyway. No. Oh, there's Rodney. There's the man that knows why it's called motocross. Yeah. Hey, Rodney, why is it called motocross? Motocross. Uh, you really want to know the answer to that? Give us the short one. Turn Give up. us the short version okay. because up, it's a uh, past 10. Turn up the third uh, dial on the right. board there. Okay, so it has absolutely nothing to do with motor, like one would think. Motocross, uh, and for whatever reason, I don't know, but they termed whenever you go racing, that is a moto. Uh, you go out and you run a moto, and that is considered one of your races. But motocross, what motocross is, it's a series of more than one moto you can have two or three different motos like professional motocross is two motos uh amateur national motocross like at loretta's uh the national championship is a three moto format but what you do is you get scored by your position um in the race if you get first you get one point if you get second you get two points that that's kind of the general so rule a moto thumbs. is a race moto is a race okay. a moto is a race and then you gotcha. know gotcha and now then the cross they the, the cross part comes i don't know but anyway uh it, it's just but but that's where the moto comes from that's why they call it motocross and not motocross and uh anyway uh you average out your finishes so and the per and, and, and you say well what if one person finishes first in one moto and he finishes second the, the second moto and then one person to finish second and you do get that oftentimes a tie yeah the best finish in the second moto or the last moto is the one that breaks all ties so all right. Now, now you know. know. There you now go. So Thanks, if you ever Rodney. go, if you ever go to any kind of racing that scores like that, then you'll know how it works. Yeah. But uh, it is rather interesting. Yeah. Thanks for asking because it allows me to sound somewhat intelligent <laughs> in this world. Well, well, you you did well. Yeah, well, I told Jen that you explained this to Matt the other day, and I, one thing I remembered you saying was that motocross and supercross, supercross had different. Super. <laughs> yeah. And then Jen made the super joke, which was the exact same joke that Matt made. When, and then I just said it by mistake. <laughs> I think we ought to just get out of here. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, just so for those of you that wonder, Supercross is a one moto format. Everybody qualifies all day long and you get your and you just go out and race for like 20 minutes on some. And it's a man made course. It's usually indoors and the jumps are huge. Ooh, <laughs> oh, fun. Right. Yeah, it is. It's cool. All awesome. right. Well, we got to get out of here. All right. That's super, not super. That's super. It was, <laughs> thanks, it was super, super show. Great job, Jen. All right. Super, super show. Got it. Super, super show. Super. Thanks, James. Okay. Bye, horse queen. Bye. <laughs> Till next year, which you guys yep. will, I'm sure, inevitably yep. put up Unless again. we find a better old photo of you. Yeah. Thanks, Rodney. All right. All right. Have a great day. Um, and we appreciate you for tuning in. And we'll be right back here tomorrow with news from news. Pete Wilson. Yes. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.